Hello everyone, it's Kat and I'm back today with my empties. These are products that I've been using, or that I have used up in the past couple of months and I'm gonna talk through them, give you mini reviews, let you know if I'd repurchase them or if I have repurchased them and what do I think after using them down to the very last drop. Um, I am keen to do this. It's a really lovely day um, and I have decided I need to do two things today. Uh, well, I need to do more things, but two things I'm really excited to do. One is clean the heck out of my wardrobe. Uh, I have come to the realization that not only is it overflowing, but half the clothes I don't even fit into anymore. Half the clothes I will not wear in the foreseeable future. And I'm talking about like 10 years. So I'm going to try to clean out the wardrobe, uh, donate a bunch of clothes. And then I'm thinking of doing a major spring clean with my makeup collection. Now... Ideally, I'd love to film that. I think spring clean, makeup collection, decluttering, hopefully like a quarter or a third of my pro products um, would be something that I would love to film for you. I would love to. Like it would bring me a lot of joy to put it on my YouTube. However, I know from experience going through your whole makeup collection and justifying why you're throwing things out and swatching and thinking and da 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 and talking to the camera and blah blah, it literally takes a whole day. I don't have a whole day. I don't have a whole day. I wish I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, probably do some like check-ins, how I'm going, uh, take some photos before and after of my drawers. And I might do like a TikTok that I'll upload on here. So I'm going to do a spring clean. I want to get rid of stuff. I want to purge. I've just got a new job. I'm going to be working from home a lot. I want my makeup desk to not have like stuff all over it and dirty sponges and brushes and powder all over it. I want it like put everything away and then I can work. And then if I want to bring things out, I can. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm so hyped to just like sort my shit out. And the first step is to go through my empties and then take these over to my local TerraCycle place and um, get rid of them and get them out of my hair because I don't need them. But before I do that, I obviously have to talk about them. So I'm going to just categorize these very quickly so we can get through them fast. Um, but yeah, if you want to see my declutter, you can follow me on TikTok. If you don't like TikTok, I will have it up here um, shortly after this video so you can see what I managed to do. I'm hoping I'm going to be ruthless, but I also don't want to regret things. And that's always the balance with decluttering things um, is that you want to purge the old but not regret what you've given away so there's going to be yeah a balance we'll figure it out all right so I'm going to start with makeup items um because it's predominantly a makeup channel um most of these are project pan things so uh winky Lux. this is the matte point powder um it was okay I don't like really matte powders these days because it just makes my skin look a bit dry uh even though I do have oily areas so I feel like my skin's getting a bit too old for that sort of matte powder I think I need something a little bit more refined but it was fine nothing exciting uh done I need powder to set my base but I need it to be really sort of silky and refined and not like texture emphasizing and like line creasing and matte powders just yeah again I'm gonna be ruthless I'm gonna get rid of stuff that I don't need and and matte powders will be will be there uh this is another product that I liked I'm going to say it's pre second baby because I feel like my second baby has to totally changed my skin and I've only realized it in winter. Um, also, when you first have a baby, you really don't have time to really analyze your skin too much. You just are doing what you need to do. So um, I think it really hit home last this winter where I'm just like, wait, my skin is so different from it was than it was any previous winter um, and I've just noticed that there's a big shift on how I can wear products it's like pre-baby post-baby um, and the NARS uh, this is the soft matte complete concealer uh, this shade was custard it's a little bit warm for me a little bit um, dark for me but I managed to make it work this was a product that I loved 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 before baby and then after baby it was like dry patchy wearing off funny not like yeah I don't know so I wouldn't repurchase that. I wouldn't repurchase the powder. Not because they were bad. They're just not really suited for me. And I would have said, if you asked me a year ago, I would have repurchased this in a heartbeat, just in a different shade that matched me a bit bit better. Um, because since buying this, they've extended the shade range. and There's better shades for me. Uh, I would have bought this in a heartbeat. But now I'm just like, no, unfortunately it doesn't work. But I liked it. 
So if you've got oily skin, you might really like this. I feel like it's really nice under the eye area. It's sort of like a moussey, blurring sort of effect. Really nice. It's good like on your face, but if you've got dry skin, it's going to make things look like this, whatever that means. So I've got two lip glosses. I've got the Inoxa Tinted Lip Serum. Uh, this was quite nice in the shade Jam Tart. Nice, um, not sticky, nice and hydrating, um, nice sort of sheer pink nude color, sort of similar to what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing um, a Kaleidos, one of the new lip glosses, but similar sort of effect, sort of sheer, but a bit of color, very nice. I would consider purchasing that. I've got so many lip glosses I don't need to, but I'd consider it. Um, I liked this probably more because the shade was a bit more harmonious with my coloring. Um, but this is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. Uh, this was a shade that was from a certain capsule collection. I don't think it's around anymore. It's a shade Rattler, um, but this was in my project pan as well. And I really enjoy this. It's a lot, the wand was hideous, but luckily they've brought these back with the doe foot applicators back because this is, this was not, not an, I, pfft, inexcusable. Um, yeah, really like, these are super cheap, um, give a really beautiful effect. This was a bit too pigmented for me, so I would sort of apply it and sort of like blot it down a little bit, but I love the color, I love the feel, I love ultra glossy lips from ColourPop. I would repurchase more. Uh, I don't need to right now, but I would. The classic Urban Decay uh, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original. Uh, what do I think about this? I think it works, but I don't love, it's not my favorite. I feel like it was ahead of its time 10 years ago, but a lot has changed in 10 years. So I like it. I don't love it. I think if you're after a very thin um, sort of sheer, I know they have different colored ones. So if you want something with a bit more color in it, or a, bit, a bit of shimmer, they do have different colors, but the original, um, it applies pretty much like almost translucent when you blend it out. It's quite thin. It does hold your eyeshadows. There's nothing wrong with it. I just feel like for me, um, I prefer ones with a little bit more color to it and then maybe a little bit thicker. So um, you don't need to like spread it as far and wait for it to sort of go a little bit tacky. I don't know, it's, it, it works. It's just not my favorite. Someone did ask me the other day what I prefer over this. I like MAC Paint Pot. So I really like um, uh, Painterly is the one that I really like. That's really good at sort of putting some color down but your eyeshadow stick and sort of enhanced. Um, I also, there's the Natasha Denona one that's quite nice. Um, and I also like the NARS ones. Uh, I have heard a few people say that they can irritate eyelids because I had an issue where I had irritated um, eyelids. And when I was applying my NARS one, it was sort of burning a little bit. So if you have any irritation, I wouldn't go NARS. But if your eyelids are fine and they're not sensitive, NARS all the way. They last super well. So yeah, I think there's just better ones out there, but it's fine. Um, lip balm. This is the Mario Badescu lip balm. I really like this. This is, I would say it's like a high end lip balm in a really basic packaging with a decent price point. If you put this in like a Le Mer or Chantecaille or something like that, like tube, I would believe it because it felt really nice and silky on the lips and it felt not only nourishing, but it was a really nice sort of experience. I would totally repurchase this. Um, I think the only thing is that I don't think it lasts all night. So if you're using it as a nighttime lip treatment, it's, it's not as long lasting as something like the Laneige lip sleeping mask. Um, but if you want something that's just really nice and uh, nice on your lips and nourishing dur during the day, or you don't care about it lasting overnight. I really like this. I'll totally repurchase it. I just need to use up some more and then I'll go. I think they've got different scents and I want to check them out. From Ilia, this is just a little sample from a Mecca Beauty Loop box. Um, the fullest volumizing mascara. This was neither the fullest nor the most volumizing mascara. It was just average. I wouldn't run out and buy it. Um, based on the sample, I was just like, it is okay. Um, I used also another sample from a Mecca Beauty Loop box. Um, this is the Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Lighting Powder. I didn't like this. Uh, the powder texture was really nice. This color, which if you look at it in the corners, it looks like it does match my skin really well, but it just like, once it hits your face, it just turns darker. And this happens to look almost like peachy bronze on me. So I ended up looking like I had like a floating uh, tomato face if I use this on, on my face. So this was more like a really sad, weak 
bronzer blush and I didn't see the point of it. So would I try ambient lighting powders in different shades with my current skin and the finicky and the blah, 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 and the needing it to be smooth and nice and maybe, but they are so expensive. You pick up quite a lot of them and you can use them up pretty quickly. At least I can anyway. So I probably wouldn't want to go down that avenue because they're very expensive and I feel like I'd be burning through them every two months. Um, but they are a nice finish if you do have sort of finicky skin like I currently have. Just don't go based on like your hand swatch or what's uh, the, the pan looks like because it's it's going to be different. Um, it's probably best to get it demoed on you if possible and go a shade or two lighter because it does deepen on the skin. That's just my warning. And it, yeah, it, luckily there was a sample because if I bought this, I'd be really pissed off. Got a little um, LH Cosmetics, um, I think it was Vega Flash liner. It was just this like dark olivey color with like gold sparkle in it. It was okay. These aren't my favorite eyeliners. Um, they have some really cool colors and they're like, generally they're like all over liners. So it's not just eyeliner, it can be lip liner, it can be on your face, on your body. Um, I like that they do that, uh, especially since I have like a vegan red one that you can use on the eyes and on the mouth is like unusual. Um, but the formula isn't the best. Some of them just don't really want to uh, I, I like to use pencils on my waterline and they just don't really want to go there. This was okay, but nothing I would want to repurchase. Let's talk about perfumes. Uh, two perfumes here, probably wouldn't repurchase either. I've got the Sully Notes Yuzu. I mainly use this as a bathroom spray because it was like, I like the scent of it. It was like Yuzu and citrusy, which is my jam but it dissipates so quickly. That's like, what is the point of wearing it if it goes away in five minutes? Um, also, it sort of settles down to smelling a little bit like cheap and nasty. Um, so I thought this was better as a room spray. Luckily, it was very cheap, so that's fine, but I wouldn't repurchase that. Um, the Lumira Paradisium, this was a little bit nicer, a little bit fancier. Uh, this did have sort of like figgy sort of green notes to it, which... Um, I thought it was nice and it didn't give me headaches, which is great because some sort of more um, heavier fragrances give me like migraines. Um, but I just didn't feel like it was very, it was me. So when I wore it, I was like, it smells, doesn't smell like me. Skincare. Let's start with some SBF. Uh, so I've got two sunscreens. Um, I have like three sunscreens open at any one time because I use sunscreen every single day, and if, even if I'm not leaving the house. Uh, the La Roche Posay, this is the Anthelios XL Anti Shine SBF 50 Plus UVA, UVB. Um, it, it was very good, very practical, very handy. Um, I have another. Uh, La Roche Posay tinted sunscreen that I've got at my parents' house, and that is really uh, it oxidizes. It's the color's not nice. I would say if you're going for a La Roche Posay sunscreen, which I do recommend because they're very, very good, and they do have a whole different range, so you can try things that are a little bit, you know, thicker, thinner, matte finish. Blah, 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 blah. They have different different stuff going on. Um, don't grow the tinted ones because they go rogue. They go crazy. Uh, you end up having like this dark pink face and like a light neck and it's weird. Always go the um, sort of white or clear ones. Uh, this one worked really well. Would totally buy again. Um, it is nice. Uh, I also used up the Mecca Max. This is the screen saver SPF 30 broad spectrum facial sunscreen with aloe vera and vitamin E. This was like a lot thinner and more like a gel. So not your typical sunscreen. This reminded me a lot of like Japanese sort of Korean sunscreens that you see that are really sort of like wet. I'm trying to get some out so I can show you. Um, so that's it there. And if you blend it in, it's just very, very light and very, very thin. So almost not quite runny like some Japanese sunscreens, like I've got one in another bathroom. Uh, they're almost watery. This isn't quite as watery, but it's very, very thin um, and very translucent, which is quite nice. So I think this is nice for an everyday, especially if you've got oily skin. Um, I would actually repurchase this one as a hand sunscreen. I know that sounds really weird, but I like something that's a little bit thicker on the face and a little bit more nourishing. Um, nothing too greasy, but a little bit like more skincare nourishing feeling and then these really thin ones i actually like to bring them in the car with me or in my handbag and if i'm out and about and i'm going to be driving a lot i often put them on before 
I drive anywhere, this one would be excellent for that because firstly, it's not super expensive. It's Mecca Max, um, which is the Mecca, one of the Mecca home brands. Um, yeah, so I would put this on because it's not sticky. It's very thin. You can drive and you're not getting like smeary steering wheel and it's not super expensive. So yeah, this one I would totally repurchase, but as like a hand sunscreen, which sounds weird, but I do it. I used up this cleanser. This is by Some By Me. Um, and this is a Korean brand. I really liked this. So this is one of those bubble foaming cleanser things. Um, and uh, look, it's the Bye Bye Blemish Vitatox Brightening Bubble Cleanser. So the way you're supposed to use this is you're supposed to apply a small amount onto your face when it's dry, spread it thinly and evenly. Um, and then it's supposed to foam up and bubble up and then you wash it off. I didn't have time for that. I just use this in the shower, um, especially at the end of the day, um, when you're taking off your makeup, this really helped remove makeup and using it as like a normal cleanser. Okay. You don't get the foaming bubble action, but it does create a really nice lather. So think of like shaving cream. It created like a bit of a shaving cream sort of lather. So I used a very small amount. It's quite thick. I used like a tiny, tiny amount, like half a pea, worked it in, let it sort of like foam up, wash it off, all the sunscreen, everything, all makeup by the end of the day. Of course I used a oil cleanser beforehand just to sort of break down the makeup, but I really liked it. Also had this really beautiful citrus scent that was just really invigorating and lovely. Um, I would repurchase this, um, but not right now. And I actually did buy, I think it was an overnight mask from this range because I was so like, I so liked this experience. Would I repurchase it? Probably. Am I going to do it right now? No, but I did really like it. I've got a whole bunch of serum type products. Um, let's just talk about them really quickly. I've got another Korean product. This is the Time Stop Peptide Eye Cream for Face by The Plant Base. Now in Korea, there is this thing like eye cream for face. What does that mean? Essentially, um, I believe it's like a trend where they've taken sort of like an eye cream formulation and they give it to you in a big tube so you can use it all over your face. So you can use it up near your eyes. You can use it on your face. Um, and I did, I did quite like this. I did. I don't think I liked it enough to be like, I've got to have it in my routine all the time, but it was like a nice gel that felt really comfortable and really nourishing. I find it hard to articulate how I feel about it, but I liked it. So there we go. I also really like this hydrating serum from QV. So it's the hydrate and renew serum for sensitive skin. It's got niacinamide and avamide 15. So it's supposed to increase skin hydration and skin elasticity for firmer, plumper skin. I think for a sort of affordable pharmacy Australian brand, this was really nice. I would repurchase this. If I wanted something with niacinamide and something just like a hydrating um, layer, which I've been, I was using a lot in winter. I was sort of just layering up the more hydrating products because especially when I went to bed, I wanted like a lot of hydration sort of wake up in the morning and I wouldn't feel sort of dry. This was nice and affordable. I would totally repurchase that. That was a surprise. I, I was surprised how much I liked it. Antipodes, uh, this is the Glow Ritual Vitamin C Serum with Plant Hyaluronic Acid. This was a weird one. It's got like um, sort of gold shimmer in it. So it's supposed to be brightening, but I also feel like they just relied a bit on putting like a gold mica in there to make it look a bit brightening. I don't actually think it did much though. Um, so once you blend it in, it's sort of like that shimmery mica's gone anyway. So what's the point? Um, it was just, I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Um, smelt nice. Um, it smelt a bit orangey and I feel like it was nice and gentle on the skin, but I don't think it did much. So I use this during the day cause that's sort of when you use vitamin C. Um, but I didn't like strong vitamin C and really active vitamin C irritates my skin. So I'm glad this was obviously not that. Um, but I don't feel like it did much. All right. Dermalogica. This is the dynamic skin retinol serum. So it's 3.5% retinoid complex and squalane. So it's not 3.5% ret retinol. It's a complex with squalane. So it's supposed to be high dose wrinkle serum. Um, but they also say it's not supposed to like cause the retinol uglies or the reaction you get from when you're first using retinol. Um, so they would say, you know, use this every other night and then build up to using it nightly. I found that this was a quite gentle on my skin. I had no reaction whatsoever. Um, uh, I, to the point where I liked this, but I felt like I needed something 
stronger. So I don't know what percentage retinol is in this again, cause it's a complex, um, but I have since moved on to something stronger. And um, yeah, if you're getting into retinol, this might be a good one for you because they do claim that it's supposed to be nice and gentle. And I do think it is, um, but yeah, I feel like I just wanted something, I wanted to level up from this. Paula's Choice, this is the Calming Repairing Serum. This was quite nice, it was like a gel. Um, I've got like this much left, but you can see it's like a gel and it is just very thin and quite nourishing and quite calming. I've got another one of these actually, so I will keep using it to see if it makes a big difference. But right now I haven't actually had irritated skin, so I can't really test how calming it is. But I think it is a nice sort of nourishing, soothing um, serum if that's what you're after. Body products. Um, I've got two shower gels. I've got one from Native. This is the body wash in uh, fresh peach cupcake. I hated the scent. I didn't hate it so much that I couldn't use it. I just didn't like it. And I think I did get to a point where I started using it to clean my shower so I can get rid of it. It was just a bit mucky. I feel like the Native scents, uh, the sort of sweet scents on me, um, they just are very like, uh, I don't know, there's something about them I don't like. It's it's a bit nauseating and a bit, ugh. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't like this. The formula was fine. These bottles are really annoying. I think I've updated them now, but they're really, I don't know. Uh, Yognog by Lush. I really like this one. This is a holiday scent and it's, they've been bringing it out for the past few years and it's very nice. It's sort of like creme brulee-ish. Um, and it's got like gold shimmer in it. I use it um, to make bubbles in my kid's bath and it's like shimmery and gold and smells really nice. Uh, I like it, it's nice. I would consider repurchasing it, but I also really like their, it's a sticky date one, uh, ja date jam, whatever it is. There's a sticky date one that's around all year. And uh, if you like Yognog, you'll probably like that one. It's a little bit more earthier and a little bit more date. And it's brown, it has a lot of date in it, um, but I, I've sort of been converted to that one. So I'm, I'm on that train. Body moisturizers and whatnot. Okay, let's talk about Do It because this is one of my favorite body brands. I love it. It's an Australian brand and it's the best. I love their hand creams, I love their foot creams. Their um, tough body, body lotion. Look, I wish their packaging was a bit nicer. I have these by my bed, which is fine, um, but they, I'd look like, like, I don't know. It looks like it's car oil or car wash or something. Like it's not something I want to keep next to my bed. Something I want to keep under my sink and pretend it doesn't exist. But these are lovely. I love them so much. Um, this is quite thin. It has a really nice scent to it. It's very fresh, but it's almost like a bit like aquatic, a bit, I don't know. I just like it. It's, it's so nice um, if you want something like that's sort of, if you want something nourishing and sort of cooling and not too thick and greasy, this is what you go for. This is great for like warmer weather where um, you want to feel like cooler. And what I like about it is it's thin and it, but it cover, like it creates this like thin coating on your body. So you know that you've got some moisture on your body. It's not like just smeared off on your clothes or something. Um, but it's not thick and oily and greasy. It's just, I, I like it. It's good. So I would consider repurchasing that one. Um, but honestly, I don't actually use body lotions very much. Um, but if I, yeah, I want to get through the ones I have and then I want to decide, do I need a body lotion? And if I do, I'll probably buy that one or something similar, but their foot and heel balm plus. Oh my God. I love this. I have repurchased this. I think I've got two tubes of it. I don't know. One tube of it. I don't know. I repurchased this. It's next to my bed. Um, I think it's that one there. Uh, I love it. It's, it's great. Again, it's, it's not a thick, greasy, um, one of those like foot balms that you have to like, you, you get smeary greasiness all over your floor. If you walk around, this is like a gel that sort of sets. So you feel like you've got a coating of moisture on your feet. Um, but you can, once it's dried, you can sort of walk around or get in your bed and not worry. It's smearing all over the sheets. I love this. I use it most nights before I go to bed. I also like the hand cream. I have repurchased that. It's great. Um, I do also have another body lotion. This is also by a Korean brand. Uh, this is Derma B and it is the daily moisture body lotion. It's just a basic body lotion. It's fragrance free. It's free of a bunch of stuff and it's just a basic body lotion. I think I would prefer to go the um, do it one personally. I just like that one. 
a little bit more and this again it's nice and thin and nourishing but that one kind of creates a bit of a coating where you feel like you've got prolonged moisture on your skin which I prefer so anyway that's that oh I almost forgot this moisturizer this is uh, by secret key and it's a black snail original cream again another Korean product I really liked this um, this was nice uh, again it's got a weird texture so I've, I kept a little bit in here so I can show you but it's got like this sticky texture and like all snail sort of products have this so it's a little bit sticky um, which is not normal if you're not used to moisturizers this is not what you normally get um, but again this provided this beautiful layer on your skin so you put it on um, it's like a moisturizer, it, you know, nourishes your skin, whatever. And then it sort of feels like you've got this overnight mask or something sort of put on, which I like. So again, it feels like it seals in all the stuff that you've put underneath it. I like it. I would totally repurchase this or something similar. So, um, yeah, that I haven't got it yet, but I, I would consider it. It's, it's very nice. Onto random stuff. So I've got a toothpaste. Uh, I've used up a, quite a few toothpastes, but this one is from Hello... Uh, it says goodbye plaque, hello whitening, and it's a fluoride free toothpaste. Uh, apparently there's a lot of these, like a lot of different types of this hello brand. I got this in like a gift with purchase. Um, I don't see the point of a toothpaste without fluoride unless you have a sensitivity to fluoride. Fluoride is what keeps the teeth strong and stops holes. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I also didn't like the natural peppermint tea tree and coconut oil sort of taste. It was just like it was tolerable, but it wasn't my preferred toothpaste. So I use this to use it up um, and yeah, give me Colgate any day of the week. Uh, on to deodorants. I've got, let's talk about the No More Sweat first because that one is more interesting than native. Um, no More Sweat. So this is a range that you can get at Chemist Warehouse. It's an Australian range um, and they have different options for different like sweating issues so if you get boob sweat like back sweat face sweat hand sweat they have different like moisturizers and stuff that actually do something that will stop you sweating for a few days um now this is the spray and it's just like a general body one the reason i bought it was that when i was pregnant um i found that i was a lot like sweatier and smellier and i found that normal deodorant wouldn't do what it needed to do so i would use this like twice a week you use it like at night um on dry skin and essentially it would sort of not stop me sweating entirely but really minimize it so then um any like just using a natural deodorant or just a spray deodorant or whatever would top it up nicely and i wasn't smelly so if i didn't use it i was like by the end of the day, I'm like, yeah, the hormones are making me really smelly. So that's why I bought a couple of these. And I thought this brand was really, really cool. So, um, yeah, they have moisturizers that you can use on your body. Um, you can, you can they have face ones. So, for example, if you're um, going to a destination wedding and you don't want your makeup to sweat off and you know you're really sweaty, you can actually get like a moisturizer sort of product um, that will sort of temporarily stop you sweating for a few days um if you're very sweaty like a ha person with really sweaty hands or really sweaty feet again you can use like a moisturizer product dedicated to like hands and feet um it's a, just a really interesting range so um yeah check it out if that's what you need to do i won't repurchase this because i don't need it right now but even in summer like coming up it's really hot and i'm like oh look i i need a bit of help i'll just repurchase this and just use it every three or four nights and then I know that I'm sort of like covered so yeah I really like that um I've used up a few native deodorants I ordered a bunch before they stopped shipping to Australia this is the grapefruit and bergamot one it smells quite nice it's like light and fresh and native like look it's a natural deodorant I'm not really buying it because it's natural and I don't like chemicals because I like chemicals. Uh, I just like the sense of them and I feel like I like the sort of, I pretty much just like the fun sense and for me they work quite well. Um, maybe on really hot days if I'm really active at the end of the day I might feel a little bit sweaty or look a bit, smell a bit sweaty. Um, but that's where I just sort of have like a body spray and it sort of tops it up and it's fine. So I have quite a few of these um, but yeah, I'm more than happy to switch back to Mitchum when I, my stash is gone. Lastly, my hair oil. Now, I mentioned in a video about how this was uh, no longer available. They discontinued the Hask 
or husk Kalahari melon oil. I love it. Um, I used to buy these half price from Priceline. They're like $3 each. Um, and now you can only get the one with the blue lid, which smells like orange. I think it's argan oil. And there's another one, but this Kalahari oil, gone. It doesn't, not, in, not around anymore. I looked it up and you can buy it pretty much in like bulk 12 packs on Amazon, pretty cheap. They come from America, so you gotta pay for shipping. Um, but I ended up buying a 12 pack. So I've been using this and I use it quite liberally. What I love about this is with my hair, um, so my hair is quite frizzy. And if I, if I brush my hair in the morning, my hair ends up looking like this. So I can either get like a sea salt spray, spray it in and sort of like clump it back together. So it's not like really frizzy, or I can take some hair oil and massage it into my hair and it sort of like comes back together. So I use hair oil like every other day. Um, some hair oils I have are very fancy and expensive and um, end up building up product and looking really sort of like limp and gross over time. This one doesn't do it. I can actually put heaps of this in my hair. and My hair loves it. It smells really good. It smells like melon. Um, and I just, I, oh, it smells so good. I just get a sort of whiff of it occasionally in my hair and I'm just like, oh, it smells so nice. Uh, yeah, so I bought a 12 pack. I might even buy another 12 pack because that's how much I like it. And I go through one of these every couple of months because again, I do use it every other day. So I'm, I'm keen. I've got Olaplex. I've got some uh, Living Proof. I've got Shuramira. I've got some like fancy hair oils and I just keep wanting to come back to this one. So maybe I should order another pack. All right, that's it. Those are my uh, empties for the last couple of months. Uh, I'll have all the products listed in the description box. I also want to take these and get the packaging recycled so I can get them out of my hair. And I'm gonna go now and do a declutter. Wish me luck. Uh, and thank you to my channel members for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Mwah! I love you. Names are on the screen. You know who you are. I know who you are. And um, I'll see you all in the next one. So have a great day. Bye.